What's up truckers, Tricky Mick here, and I'd like to say a big thank you to all the drivers out there, making sure that we have food, making sure that we have water, making sure that we have all of the things we need to continue working and keep moving forward. I myself haul heavy duty chassis, and if you've seen the channel before, you might have seen me hauling with a nine car hauler and a few other things on a flatbed. So let's get right into it because we're looking here to see if Governor Newsom is going to really give us the thanks that we deserved as stated during the pandemic with the Teamsters. All right, so California Senate votes to ban driverless trucks with AB 316. The California Senate joined the state assembly in overwhelmingly voting to ban heavy duty driverless trucks on state highways. Whether to sign or veto the bill is now up to Governor Gavin Newsom. The government through Newsom's business office has been critical of Assembly Bill 316, but he has not said what he will do. The former San Francisco mayor is a big technology backer, but also courts labor unions, which are the loudest voices behind the legislation. Essentially, the bill, which passed Monday in a 36 to 2 vote, requires that autonomous trucks weighing more than 10,001 pounds have human safety drivers in the cab. Other provisions would allow legislators to take the place of state agencies like the Department of Motor Vehicles and the California Highway Patrol. The state assembly passed the bill 69 to 4 in May. The bill would ban driverless trucks weighing more than 10,001 pounds. Heavy duty trucks weighing more than 10,001 pounds are in autonomous testing in Texas and New Mexico and approved in more than 20 other states. We are disappointed to see AB 316 pass the California Senate. The Department of Motor Vehicles and Governor's Office of Business and Economic Development were correct that AB 316 undermines oversight of expert regulators in California. Jeff Farrah, Executive Director of the Autonomous Vehicle Industry Association, said in a statement. We urge Governor Newsom to veto AB 316 so experts in his administration can evaluate autonomous trucking technology and ensure California benefits from the technology. There might be some benefits, but we also need to look at the negatives too, in my opinion. So let's keep moving. Key freight routes converge in California. California is home to several autonomous trucking startups as well as autonomous ride hailing pioneers, Waymo and Cruise. The state has two major freight routes, Interstates 10 and 5, that travel west to east and north to south, respectively. The Teamsters who support Newsom are demanding that he sign the bill and will rally next Tuesday outside the state house in Sacramento and in Los Angeles. They cite a survey showing three in four Californians favor a ban on autonomous trucks. That's really surprising to me. Um, that is consistent with general feelings about robot driving, which many say they fear. During the pandemic, Governor Newsom thanked Teamster truck drivers for risking their lives to keep the economy afloat. But he actually needs to prove that, that he cares about workers by signing AB 316. Teamsters General President Sean M. O'Brien said in a news release after the Senate vote on Monday. And I agree with this completely. I was given a special piece of paper to be able to go back and forth and haul cars during the pandemic. And, um, you know, it's kind of odd that people would say, um, you know, we risked our lives. We went above and beyond, uh, above and beyond, you know, when the need was there to make sure goods, groceries and vehicles and things like that were there for everyone to have. Um, so let's continue on with the safety part of it. Safe or not safe technology. If Governor Newsom vetoes this bill, he's putting the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of truck drivers at risk while jeopardizing public safety, O'Brien said. Now, that's the part that I agree with 100 percent. If you've ever been in a semi truck or been around vehicles like this, you know that breakdowns happen. It's just a part of life. Whether that's a brand new truck or one with one million miles, you're going to have some breakdowns uh, down the road. And I think personally that having a driver behind the wheel is one of the ways you can make sure that that vehicle can safely come to a stop when let's say a sensor goes bad or a camera doesn't work or one of the many things that you can experience in a rural area not having service with 4G or 5G um, you know, technology is a major issue in general, just having cell phones and trying to contact dispatch and things like that. So I can only imagine what would happen when you know, an autonomous vehicle loses contact with the person remotely piloting it. So that's something that really concerns me personally. The AVIA counters that all major studies in the 44 million miles of autonomous trucking to date have resulted in practically no crashes. Jobs lost in over-the-road trucking, which are already hard to fill because people don't want to pay a high wage, mind you, would be replaced by less stressful work in and around autonomous hubs where human drivers would take control. 
Now there's a few things I agree with in here and a few things I disagree with in here. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, you know, thank you again. You know, it's Truck Driver Appreciation Week. Most of us are gonna be on the road while someone's getting some barbecue and things like that over at the uh, terminal. And, and that's okay with me, that's fine. This is what I signed up for, this is the job I do. So again, I just wanna say a big thank you to all the truck drivers out there working this week. And you know, let us know in the comments what you think. So keep on trucking.